census takers will start knocking on doors in Wake County tomorrow. CBS 17 digital reporter Judith Ratana digging deeper to explain how much information they should be asking for and how to tell if they're really with the government. The Wake County census takers will only come to your door if you have not already completed a survey. County Commissioner Vicki Adamson says there are a few red flags to keep in mind to ensure the person at your door is not an imposter. And we immediately had folks knocking on doors saying they were with the census asking for financial information. Legitimate census takers won't seek financial information, request social security numbers, or ask to enter your home. Here's what they will ask for. They just ask for basic data about who you are, your age, what's your relationship to other members of your household. Adamson says census takers will wear a branded census photo ID badge along with a branded shirt and bag. She says scammers may try to take advantage of people with limited English. If somebody comes up and you're not understanding them, you can absolutely demand that they come back with somebody that you can understand. Results from the 2020 census will play a role in future federal funding and political representation. We see now with our CARES Act money has been so beneficial to Wake County. It will also determine whether Wake County beats out Mecklenburg in a census response wager. We're about five points ahead of Mecklenburg. If we can keep our lead, then the Sun Kings jersey stays in Wake County. Right now, North Carolina has about a 60% response rate to the census. How does that compare with the rest of the country? I'm diving deeper into that part of the story online at CBS17.com. In Raleigh, digital reporter Judith Hartana, CBS 17 News.